Yo, what is up guys? So there is a new Grey Keeper and surprisingly it's a fusion, I guess? Alright, let's go ahead and check this card out. So anyways, it's coming out in Soul Fusion. It's a new Grey Keeper fusion monster. It's got 2000 attack, it's a level 7, and it's also got 2000 defense points. Also a dark, I'm guessing it's going to be a spellcaster. Um, yeah, it is a spellcaster. Alright, so... The materials to summon it are going to be two Gravekeeper monsters, and it says you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. So the first effect says this card gains a 100 attack and defense by the total original levels of its fusion materials times 100. The second effect says if Necro Valley is on the field, if this card and cards in your field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. The third effect is during your main phase, you can activate this effect during the end phase of this turn. Add one Gravekeeper's Monster or Necro Valley card from your deck to your hand. Wow. All right. Well, let's go ahead and check out what are like going to be the appropriate targets. Because I know that there is one that's like Imperial Tomb. I think it's Necro uh, Valley. Obviously, with the Gravekeepers, we we know them, but we can kind of check them out and uh, refresh ourselves here. Because I mean, let's be honest here. It's been so long since uh, most of us have even seen people play Gravekeepers. But uh, there was a card that came out. It was a secret rare. I remember it was actually like twenty dollars. Um, not that anyone played Gravekeepers when this card like came out. But um, at one point, Gravekeepers were pretty meta. Um, but anyways, Imperial Tombs of Necrovelly. So when a spell, trap, or monster friend is active while both a Gravekeeper monster and Necrovelly are on the field, you get to negate the activation if you destroy it. Now, there's a downside with this card is you can only activate one of them per turn, which is the Imperial Tombs of Necrovelly. Uh, however, I mean. With this effect, you're only searching out one extra card anyway. So that's actually a pretty good effect. Um, however, it is from the deck. So, I mean, if you happen to draw too many, I don't know what else you would really get to make it really good. I mean, you could go for uh, Groovekeeper still, and that's going to be able to give you back the two monsters that you used to summon it in the first place. Now, I want to say that we probably will be getting something to actually summon this without using uh, Palmerization because... Well, I mean, looking at it right now, it, it, it requires two grief keepers, but it's not like a contact fusion. You do still have to use something to fusion for it. Now, this is the only card that we uh, actually just got announced, but I mean, it's a pretty big deal. It's been so long since grief keepers have gotten any new support, but um, I'm guessing some other card will let you like fusion for it. Uh, but this is the only card we have as of right now uh, for, from uh, the newer uh, set. But uh, anyways, there's also actually um, another new card. Uh, this is a new Sky Striker card, which is Sky Striker Maneuver Vectored Blast. So anyways, it's a new normal spell card that says, if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, send the top two of both players' deck to the graveyard. Then if you control three or more spells in your graveyard, you can return all monsters your opponent controls in the extra monster back to, extra monster zone back to the deck. Okay, so I guess you get, get rid of like one thing. I mean, yeah, it's another spell technically, and it maybe has some potential to get you some extra spells into the graveyard. But are you really going to be playing this? I mean, it's not even a quick play. If it was quick play, I would consider it. But because it's not, I'm not sure if I really like this card. But let me know, guys, how you feel about the Sky Striker Maneuver Vector Blast. Um, and if it was just like, it had like a little bit more utility. Again, if it was quick play, it'd be so much better. <laughs> But uh, anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on the Vector Blast or the new Gravekeeper Fusion Monster. Do you guys think that the new Gravekeepers are going to be good with this? I mean, it's not bad. It's going to have a decent amount of attack. And then on top of that, you make it so uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects. It, it's this card and other cards. But at that point, they just bounce it back. And then, well, everything is going to be like vulnerable anyways. I mean, Castella is still a card. If it said like it cannot be targeted, then we're still looking at something a little bit better. I mean, at the end of the day, you'd probably just utopia to get over it in the first place, right? Uh, but I don't know. It has maybe some potential. Uh, again, it depends on how easy this is to get up. But keep in mind, as soon as you summon it, you're going to be able to add a card that can negate anything. Although you can only use one of them. So take that information but uh anyways yeah like i said let me know your thoughts on either of these cards down below in the comment section below but anyways hope you guys enjoyed checking these two new cards out let me know your thoughts but thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button always be updated on the latest Yu-Gi-Oh cards